Hi there, this is Jordan from Pulse Tutorials and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show to you the easiest way for you to change the font and the test size for your WordPress website. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is simply go to your theme options and see if there is something that allows you to actually do this. And sometimes you have it and others you don't have it. And if you don't have it, then this video is exactly for you because I'm going to show to you just some easy tips using CSS, which is a programming language that will allow you to quickly do this. But really don't worry because what I'm going to teach you is really simple and anyone out there can do it. Okay, so you want to go to your WordPress back office. Once you are here, you go to Appearance and you select Editor. You will see a lot of different files and these are files that your theme has. But the one that you want to work with is called Style Sheet. Style.css, as you can see over here. This is a file that every single theme out there has. And if you are wondering what exactly is CSS, well, as I said previously, it's a programming language for your website. And CSS allows someone to pretty much design a whole website and structure it. By this I mean you need CSS, for example, to change the navigation bar color over here. For that you need CSS or to change the background color for your website. Also you need CSS. So CSS allows pretty much someone to design a website. Okay, so now that you know or have at least a basic idea of what exactly CSS is, you want to go throughout this page and you will see a lot of different coding and sure I mean you could go exactly to the specific line that would allow you to change the content over here that you want but if you're like me I mean you really don't want to waste your time trying to find that line so I'm just going to show to you the easiest way for you to do this so you just go below The first thing that you want to do is simply select everything copy it Get to a blank notepad and paste it. And you're probably wondering why you need this. Well, you're going to change the coding for your website. And, I mean, if something goes wrong, at least you have over here this backup. By this, I mean you can simply copy this coding that is correct and simply go over here and paste it once again and just fix your website. So it's really important for you to always do this when you are actually going to edit the coding for your website. Is to make a backup first. Okay, so you go below. The first thing that you need to understand is everything that is over here is inside a paragraph. This is a paragraph. It's important for you to know this because I'm going to write over here a small p. And this in CSS coding means paragraph because I want to work with my paragraph. Now you want to open a bracket and immediately close it, just like this. Give some space in between these two brackets. And in between these two brackets is where I'm going to write some coding. And what I want to change is exactly the font inside my paragraph. So I'm going to write font, two dots, and the first attribute that I want to change is my uh, my test size for my paragraph so I'm going to specif specify a size of 26 pixels this is really huge this is really huge and I'm going to do this because I want to see for you to see clearly the changes that this will do but I recommend for you to do a size between 16 to 19 or 20 pixels it really depends on the font that you're using okay and between the sizes is really the correct size because anyone who goes to your website independently of the age they have, they can really quickly and easily read the content that you have over here. Because one of the problems that I see in many websites is I go to a website and they have a test size that is really small and it's hard to read. And many times people just leave and don't read anything, okay? And you don't want that, of course. 
so you put the test size that you want over here and now you select the font that you want to use in this case I'm going to use Taoma but you can choose Ariel or Verdana or any other font that you want to use okay so this is exactly everything that you need to do so you can change your paragraph so now you just press update file I'm going to refresh my website so you can see the changes as you can see it's really huge and it changed pretty much the font and also the size for my test anyway you must remind that this will change every single paragraph that you have in your website by this I mean if you have for example a paragraph on your sidebar section it will also change that so it's really important for you to notice this okay so this is how you can easily change uh, the font and also the test size for your website and if you have just a few seconds please subscribe to our YouTube channel you just need to click on the link below from this video so you can receive our great updates on a weekly basis also if you have any question just leave it below I will try to reply as soon as possible and that is all for now stay tuned with ProSite tutorials and bye